Hi, I'm Ayman, uh, and welcome back to another one of my gardening videos. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of gardening videos because of, first, we we're jumping on the Pokemon Go bandwagon, and second, there's a lot of uh, problems for New Englander farmers. The first problem is the late frost. Uh, you know, for instance, the Ap in April, there was still, like, snow. Um, and that caused uh, the buds that were growing early to be killed, um, so that means less fruits. The second one is that we've had uh, one of the worst droughts in history in New England uh, recently, so that means even less fruits. And third, um, there's less that, there's less fruits and there's more insects, which means they're gonna focus on what's just left. Usually, uh, orchids spray their trees to get rid of the insects, but since we're organic, we don't do that, and that means we're gonna lose most of our fruits this uh, September. So, um, last year, you would see an abundance of apples everywhere in my backyard. There would be, like, a huge abundance of them and the branches. And usually, those trees over there, they grow a lot of them. Uh, they're red. Uh, and that right one, you can only see, like, one or two, actually, uh, when there should be more. And over there, you should see some other ones, uh, but you don't. And that's because of it's like sporadic growing and there's less fruits. Uh, September is usually the apple festival month, but since there's no apples, there's, there can't be an apple festival. Well, I mean, in our backyard for us, we didn't have a festival, but we should, we should have had a festival because there's usually a lot of apples, but there's not a lot of apples. Um, but actually, in West Haven, we had the, fe the Apple Festival yesterday and today because orchards a actually spray the trees, so they don't have to worry about any problems with the bugs. So they have an abundance of apples for the Apple Festival. We had it at the Green, I think. Yeah, the West Haven Green. It was pretty fun, too. So here is the uh, Korean Giant, or the Olympic Asian pear tree. And it's called that because of its gigantic Asian pear right here, you can see. If you've, um, if you've watched our videos, then you would uh, know that we have uh, nine species of Asian pears. And this one is the last one to mature. Um, guess when it's supposed to mature? Uh, October, around the first week of October. Guess what day it is today? It's the second last week of September. And the reason it's uh, um, maturing earlier is because of the drought. And as you can see there, we've already picked all those uh, other Asian pears because the drought has already caused them to mature earlier than this one and they weren't really good just just a fact um but anyway that just just concerning the drought so we have two Korean giant trees um and this one is the second one um actually has more apples because uh, we didn't use the correct procedure for it that one we used uh we we thinned them out we made them not in bunches like this one is um, that made them grow bigger in that one. However, since we didn't thin them out, there's only supposed to be like one per bunch, so it shouldn't be a bunch um, to, for it to be to grow big. Um, and uh, the effect of that is that more bugs have focused on this tree because there's more uh, there's more fruits. Um, and if you watch one of my videos, you have seen that there was recently an inf infestation of bald-faced hornets and and white-faced hornets, I think. And they, they're causing most of these fruits to go bad. Um, over here, you can see it's turning black. Uh, I don't know what's causing that. I don't know. I'm not even sure how that can happen. Maybe it's just it rottening it. But I think it's mostly the bugs. So it's getting dark. So we're going to uh, pick the some of these Asian pears, the good ones, uh, before they get too overripe and turn rotten. So this one's a good example of them. Not many spots. Uh, hasn't been really touched by the bugs. That will go down. Uh, we have to look around it to make sure there's no uh, really bad spots. Uh, I don't see any. Nope. We can cut it. Bend it in. Uh, let's see here. Um. I think this one fits the bill. 
So that will go in there. Um, and so on and so on. For this whole tree. <laughs> so since it's getting dark, even though there's an ice cream truck playing, we're going to be. I'm going to help my dad pick the Asian pears, uh, because it, um, and even if we don't get to it to finish it, then we can always do it tomorrow. Um, and anyway, since this is the end of the video, I'm going to give you some highlights of videos that we're going to do from uh, this week to next week, um, assuming that the weather doesn't go bad and ruins all our crops.